Qatar's fixed line and broadband sectors performed strongly during 2011, with growth rates of 4.5% and 21.5% respectively. And according to market data, there were 2.8 million mobile subscribers in Qatar at the end of December 2011. With me to discuss the broadband market and tech innovation is Mohamed Al Manai of Qatar National Broadband Network. QNBN recently won the World Finance Award for Best Innovation in the Middle East 2012. Mohamed, welcome and congratulations. Thank you, Nick. Qatar's new fibre optic network is the first government initiative of its kind in the Middle East. What impact is this going to have on private sector enterprise? The impact we see it on a large scale across the whole sector. So it's, it won't be only the private sector, but uh, broadband and nature touch uh, everyone's life and everyone's daily lifestyle, uh, whether it's at work or, a, or, or at home. So the impact of broadband or high-speed connectivity is tremendous when it comes to, uh, to, all, to all sectors. In the long term, QMBN uh, would be empowering the people of Qatar, the people who live in Qatar, uh, with giving them and enabling them with access, uh, and uh, not only a normal access, but access of choice, which means that they would be selecting their service provider uh, or among multiple service providers that would be offered over the network that QMBN would uh, would build. We see QMBN as a catalyst also of a competition for the, na uh, for the nation uh, in order to promote competition issues around, uh, around broadband and introducing or accelerating the competition uh, into the broadband services uh, industry. And what are the implications for the economy in having faster broadband? It's always a challenge when we speak about quantifying uh, a rounded figure into the economy uh, for an industry that impacts every, uh, every, every sector. But overall, recent research shows uh, that doubling the broadband speed of an economy increased the GDP by 0.3%. Uh, SMEs, for sure, is a, a major sector that would benefit from uh, the broadband uh, network that we are building. Uh, and their need uh, of a broadband uh, to compete on a global uh, level is a must and we see it uh, a major driver for, for competition uh, for the SMEs. Broadband in general will enable businesses uh, to not only enjoy a faster internet speed but will also enable them to enjoy the benefits uh, of using a far wider range of services uh, and applications. We see that uh, it's not only uh, the direct uh, economical benefit or uh, figures, it's also the social impact which is much more uh, great by building higher speed uh, networks. Technology is a significant growth area. What can you tell us about the companies investing in Qatar and who you at QNBN are working with? Uh, we do cooperate with uh, plenty of our organization in a big infrastructure project that's ongoing currently in Qatar. Uh, one of them is the New Doha International Airport, for example, uh, that we are cooperating with them in building the required infrastructure uh, based on a fiber optics technology. Uh, additionally, we uh, are in a continuous coordination with the uh, 2022 Organization Committee for the World Cup in order to make sure that they would have the right connectivity solution uh, for their venues uh, and stadiums that will be hosting the 2022. Additionally, the e-government uh, project now depends on uh, Qatar National Broadband as the main infrastructure uh, supplier for their uh, e-government network. So a uh, touch basically a uh, diff different type uh, and different flavor of uh, businesses and government sector uh, and uh, much more businesses would be joining our uh, network in the future. There are some key differences between fiber optics and traditional copper wire. What are the costs involved? Uh, the, the costs involved in terms of cost saving are tremendous, but uh, what you can do with fiber uh, is the next step uh, of a technology that you cannot do with copper. Uh, so copper technology have reached its uh, limits uh, in terms of what can it provide, but we would see the major difference between both technology is that uh, fiber use the speed of light, uh, while copper cable use the electrical or pulse speed which at the same time would offer a more uh, environment friendly solution since uh, light can be generated with less power uh, than, than it, it used to require uh, on the old uh, copper uh, cables. Uh, additionally, uh, the environment resources uh, would not be consumed for uh, building up uh, copper cables uh, or manufacturing c copper cables. We've already talked about the stimulus to business innovation. What are the indirect effects of high-speed fibre optics? 
our industry as a new business model uh, we, we are introducing uh, in Qatar uh, is unique in, in our region. Uh, so we would be the first player that introduce wholesale services over an infrastructure layer uh, of technology. Uh, that actually uh, would transform the businesses, creating uh, an engine for economic growth and promoting human and social development uh, to create more uh, potential uh, and pioneer new business ideas for the future. Mohamed, thank you. Thank you, Nick.